we go to our home village in Tarime, which is in Mara region, in the north and eastern part of our country, my parents always tell me to love everything around me. The sky is blue as it is, the ground, birds singing in the air, nature, everything, everyone. And I'm so happy that I was able to connect with the African soil when I went to Shamba with my grandma. And that's when I realized that life, real life, is on that side. The African heritage and culture and that sense of belongingness and community are all on that side, in the African village. But some still think Africa is a dark continent, an isolated continent. But guess what? We have been proving them wrong, and we can continue to prove them wrong. As strong as we are, as united as we are, we can give them that African flavor. So hey, Africa. Let's tell our true stories and celebrate our beauty. Let's brand our continent and bring flavor to this world. I am tired of meeting people who value me more just because I can speak good English. But hey, matter of fact, I am not any better than a child in my village who speaks a good Swahili or Korea. Africa is where I smell beautiful, fresh fragrance of bare grounds covered by sand when the rain comes. Africa is where I connect with nature through walking and stepping on the ground when I am barefooted. Africa is where I am taught the real meaning of community and love. Haven't you seen an African child speaking her native language? Amangana, Uraho, Oliotia, honoring her elders, listening carefully and attentively to the old folk stories taught by her uncles and aunts around the fire. Haven't you seen an African family celebrating their harvest with matches, cut laces, and knives in their hands? With love. A kerosene lantern used in a five-star hotel. A parent from Kibera, Kenya, Nirande, Malawi, Makoko, Nigeria, Katlisha, Cape Town, Tandale, Tanzania who have raised doctors, lawyers, innovators, and athletes. Africa, my pride. Africa, my mother. Thank you.